Are we supposed to watch a YouTube video to figure out how to put this together, babe? This doesn't seem right. Maiden voyage. Maiden voyage. <laughs> Don't tip us over, I swear. <laughs> I swear, babe! Is that an eagle? There's an eagle. I'm Tammy and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided, you know what? Life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and experiences. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. So we need to go find our kayak. Apparently it's too big for the post office to deliver. We need paddles and we need flotation devices. And we seriously ought to have hypothermia death suits. And now that Luke told us about orcas and killer whales eating kayakers, which hasn't been happening. We're really worried. <laughs> We've got a boot. Now I just have to blow it up. Exercise by paddles. Flotation devices. We should probably watch a YouTube video on how to Fit yourself for a vest because I have no idea. These are about $30 a foot. I opted to go with the safer, more buoyant life jacket with the padding because I don't float. I sink straight to the bottom and I'm not a good swimmer. However, Scott, the big, the big guy, he decided to go with the little sleek inflatable life jacket. I don't know. What do you think? I don't. I'm not sure if that looks like it's going to float you. Yeah. So I need to arm it with a CO2 cartridge. And then you get out there and you pull that rip cord and this thing turns into a life raft. I don't think that's what happens. <laughs> with, a, with a wetsuit that protects you from cold water, it does. It says that only use that if you're a good swimmer. So if you're a bad swimmer, like, don't pull the ripcord? I don't know, but it looks like tiny. It's going to look good with my Speedo. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> let's hope there's no Speedo involved. And it's ultra lightweight, I can tell already. I'm so glad we got a really light and compact kayak wave. I think this box probably weighs 20 pounds. Well, I don't think so. Get that out of there. Yeah, I mean, they could put handles on the box. Complaint number one. <laughs> oh, they put a barbell set in here. After looking at all the different models on the internet, the thing that really attracted us to this one was it's inflatable and it has a drop stitch floor in it that where you can actually stand up on it if you need to. The other thing reason that we went with it is because this picture the guy is kind of large like me <laughs> and they're both smiling and the dog's happy so that's why we got this one. I just wanted to demonstrate the Backpack feature of the bag. Okay. You're gonna throw your back out, babe. There's one, and there's two. How far do you think you can hike with that? I can go a ways. Like 10 feet? Don't forget, it still has to get pumped up when you get there. Oh, God. It's, it just needs to be adjusted. Yeah. That's too. not bad. It's inflation time. Who's doing the pumping up? Take turns? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take turns. You, you seem out of breath, you're already worn out. I'm still gasping. <laughs> we haven't even started pumping it up or gone kayaking. This ought to be fun. Are we supposed to watch a YouTube video to 
figure out how to put this together, babe. I don't think it's just like a floaty toy. Did you watch a YouTube video? Um, yeah. You did? Yeah. Pretty much know how it goes. We, we need I don't to, believe are there any Keep in mind this, this backpack, duffel bag that it came in is just large enough for it. So when you fold it back up, you've got to do an equally outstanding job. So pay attention. When you're around, I know it's true The way you make me feel is so good, baby So good, so good Tammy wisely chose the Advanced Elements Heavy Duty Double Action Hand Pump with a pressure gauge. Do we need to watch a YouTube video on how to operate the pump now? No, it's uh, totally intuitive. Let's see, which side goes? <laughs> exactly. <There's> the gauge. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. All right, we're, we're gonna get an electric pump. <laughs> the other reason we decided on this kayak was because it didn't have just one flotation air chamber. So even if one of them pops, please, Lord, don't ever let that happen because I will have an anxiety attack. We will have a rescue chamber of air, so a lot would have to happen. Let's say a shark bite, an orca emerging from the depths with sharp teeth, something like that for it to really, really be in bad shape. <laughs> well, we, um, you have to be quick. We just lost all that work we did. There's still a little in there, let's move on. How come I'm always in a position like this where I'm saying I need a pad for my knees? Have you seen the Tammy Dumps the Black Tank yet? This is familiar. What's the trick to not lose an air? I don't know, but I can't breathe. They don't tell you in that video? I hope the kayaking part's easier than the putting it, pumping it up part. We're old. This doesn't seem right if you lose all of the air every time you Okay, we, we need to go back to the internet. We, we're <laughs> doing something wrong. What are we doing wrong, Big? I don't know. It says, check to be sure the spring valves are in the inflate position. See other side of tag. What's a spring valve? Understand your valves. Gee, this would have been good to have earlier. Okay, advanced elements, you've done nothing wrong. It's We're just dumb. There is an instruction booklet in your case. Be sure to look for it so you don't make the same mistake three times like we did. That's the spring valve right there. And what you do is you push in on it, turn counterclockwise, and it pops out. Now it's in the inflate position. This thing's unsinkable. It's got air everywhere. Now let me read more instructions since that seems to be helping the process go a little smoother. <laughs> Make sure all valves are closed tightly and properly. Are they all tight and proper? Check. Okay. Finally, insert the plastic bow and stern forms into the gray pockets on the bow and stern of the cut. Which, what's the bow and what's the stern? In nautical terms, it's bow. It's not a bow. It's, it's spelled bow. bow. The bow and the stern. It's B-O-W. The bow. Okay, bow. Sorry, I don't know how to be a... <laughs> I'm not a nautical. Sorry if I offended anyone from for saying bow and not bow. And I guess what that does is it just gives it a little, gives it a little solid. extra rigidity. Yeah, we like that. Okay. Good job, babe. We're almost done. Almost there. Except for the, the kayaking part. The seats inflate and they have lumbar support for people like us who need that sort of thing. If it's your first time inflating one of these kayaks, do it in the privacy of your campground and don't try to do it at the shore of your waterway <laughs> because you'll make a fool out of yourself. 
I think it's too long to go in the back of the truck. This thing's 15 feet long and it's going to be hanging over. No, not a good idea. We'll, we'll learn how to deflate and inflate with regularity. Are we going to name it? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Before we go? Is it bad luck if you don't? We probably ought to have a name before we go. Oh no. Let's be thinking about it. Okay. Now to deflate. And then if we have time, we might run to a little lake nearby and inflate it again and test this baby out. See if we're unsinkable. We gotta come up with a name first though. Do we have to break a bottle of champagne yeah. over the bow too? <laughs> now I get it, bow. <laughs> that sounded right. Bow. <laughs> over the bow. All you people down there in beautiful, warm, sunny Florida in your bikinis out in your kayaks, this is how we have to dress the kayak in the Pacific Northwest this time of year. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're dorks and we know it. What did we name the boat? We named the boat Hope. Why? Because we hope it floats. What else? We hope it doesn't tip over. We hope we see whales. Not today, we're gonna go to a lake. No, but... I don't wanna see a whale line kayaking. <laughs> that would be scary. Well, be well if it cool. was in a dis off in a distance. Anyway, we hope our maiden voyage goes well. We're off to the lake to test out our Advanced Elements Elite. We're gonna take you along. Hope it goes well. Now, how do I get in? You're good. Just put, put, put one left hand over on the other side. I'm scared. You're fine. All right. If I start floating away, my life jacket's riding up. Hopefully, I'll get more put graceful your, looking your, at this. Uh, paddle on the left rail. Okay. Just rest it right there. Okay. I need a place for mine. Okay. Are you sure this is going to be okay? This is deep right here, babe. Wait, I'm floating away. Okay, don't get me all wet. <gasps> don't tip us over, I swear. I swear, babe. You're going to tip me over. Okay, please don't tip me over. Not just because I don't want to fall in, but all of my camera equipment will be so... <gasps> Are you in? Oh, good lord. Okay, give me my we need to get better at this getting in. The other reason we chose this kayak was it was supposed to be not very tippy. I'm having a little anxiety. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Here we go. Oh gosh, we're actually... I'm wet. Oh, that's what these things are for. What thing? These little rings. Yeah, they're r water guards, silly. Yeah, you can we stay close to shore for a little bit? Yeah, please. I need a, like, a, try to paddle less splashy. I'm gonna adjust my lumbar. Hope floats. Look at, you're cruising and I'm not even helping, babe. What if we hit a tree under the water or something? Do you need to tip so much when you paddle? <laughs> Are you so glad we got a kayak? <laughs> I'll get used to it, I promise. Is that an eagle? There's an eagle. Top of that tree right oh, there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm seeing my kayaking's awesome. We're just like hanging out in the water and the bald eagle's sitting up there. 
Oh, here comes the mate. <gasps> the mate's flying With in. Food. What? With food. With food. Oh, God. I can't. Oh. Got a fish. Do you hear him? <gasps> that was the mate bringing a fish to the nest. All right. Well, that was awesome. It's gonna just coast the shore of the lake. Yeah. Okay. That's gotta be a good sign, huh? Yeah. You think that was a good sign? I think it was. That was a sign. It's, it's a, a sink. Sing it's a sign. We're not gonna sink. Really jerky when you paddle. I thought it would be smoother. The person what is right. that? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm trying to film content for YouTube, man. You gotta take care of our viewers. Don't you even dare. It goes very straight. This thing has a this solid bottom like in it. feels like a more like a real kayak. So once I get better balance, I'm gonna just stand up and row it. Um, not with me in the boat, you're not. This feels like a legit, almost hard-sided kayak. It feels really solid. Scott's a little non-graceful with his paddling, so we we're rocking a bit. I'm not gonna let him do the stand-up test with me in it. And I thought our kayaking hats were dumb and dorky, but I'm really grateful I have it because the sun's really bright and it burn easy. So, yeah, we got the look, even if we don't really know what we're doing. I'm gonna put the, put the phone down so I can help Scott paddle. Okay, in unison with me. Ready, I'm paddling. Okay, just look straight forward. Okay, left, right. Left. Stay in unison with me. Left. Right. Left. Note to self, don't put your water in your dry bag. Did you put our water in our dry bag? No. That was a little delayed. <laughs> you look like a big blueberry. Oh, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. We didn't even need a second panel. I just sit here and let him do all the work. <laughs>